Our kids played really hard. Our kids believed. Our kids didn't doubt for a second the plan we had in place. A little frustrated that Will, Will Howard had a 70 yard run, but credit that to Coach Klein being one of the best offensive coaches in the country. They had a good adjustment that they hadn't put on film and got loose on us. But I credit Kendall Daniels for running him down and giving us a chance to allow the play to end on our terms. Thought our kids played really hard. Cam Epps is, is a guy who, at least from my perspective, looked like he played pretty hard. What, what can you say about the redshirt freshman and his performance tonight? Very proud of him. I'll tell you what I told him in the locker room. I'm so proud of him for how dedicated he is. Everyone knows what happened to Lyric. Everyone knows that caused us to start him last game against Iowa State. It was frustrating for him that he didn't perform the way he knows he is able to do. And then he came out, and I talk about Coach Duffy that Sunday after Iowa State, and I was, I was frustrated. I was not happy with the way we played. And Coach Duffy came in my office and told me the first person in the locker room, the first person up watching film the day after that game was Cameron Epps. And Cam's a very talented football player. He's going to be an ideal player at that spot for us, and he has a bright future. I think ESPN said Cam has gotten a lot of interceptions in practice. So... Was it you know, not at all surprising to see him finally get a couple of those in, in some games? Not at all. Like so He's been doing it. He had seven interceptions during the two weeks of practice, and I think he had three in one day. So he's he has all the tools, and he has all the drive, and he has the exact right demeanor to play that position. If you beat me, he doesn't let his head. He, kinda, he may be a little bit sad looking sometimes. That's just who he is. He doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. He is a perfect demeanor. He knows he can come out and make another play. Ryan, does this feel like a pivot game for you guys, for your defense? Yes, I feel like we played the way I know we're capable of playing. Mm -hmm. And I think things are starting to click. How, what did you do to help that cause the last two weeks, you personally, in terms of your coaching? I think staying consistent. Mm -hmm. You have to be the same person regardless of the outcome of the game, as frustrating as that may be. We have to come in and tell our guys they're getting better. They tackled better at Iowa State. Okay, we can't we can't slip and fall down. We can't blow coverage. If we don't give up the explosive touchdown, we can have a chance to win the game. Stay consistent, and all I can say is I just try to be myself every day, the same person I've been since I got here. Um, with you, Cameron, you guys had a great night from Nick, who was thrust in after there was an injury to Justin. How big was he tonight, and what was he doing that was so special? He is one of the most explosive, natural, fun linebackers I've ever seen in person. And he's another one that is a testament to his work ethic. And when I got hired in the spring, there were nights, because my family wasn't here yet, there were nights when Nick Martin was up there at 9.30 watching film and I was still here hanging out because I had no place else to go. Nick Martin was still here wanting to learn. Nick Martin was wanting to come in and watch film in the summer on his own, wanting to ask questions. So what you're seeing now is a byproduct of all the stuff that he's done to earn the right to be this successful. What's the box look like from your perspective when you see Cam get the pick right before halftime? <laughs> enthusiastic. That's a good way to put it. Who was the most enthusiastic up there? Coach Hammer. Okay. Because Coach Hammer works with him every day. And to see a kid that had a struggle show up and do that, I think that really, it gets you as a position coach. You mentioned a couple times his struggles and aims. I imagine other teams see that on film. They're going to attack him and, and test him. It, it, did you warn him about that going in? How do you kind of handle that situation where, the, hey, they're going to throw at you based on film from last game? No, we just told everyone knows you're a freshman. Everyone knows you made your first start. So if you're an offensive coordinator, that's who you're going to go at. You have to make sure that as a defensive back, they're always going to go after you. You have to be able to shrug it off and say, all that matters is the next play. If you beat me, it was a fluke. That's the defensive back mentality, and that's what Cam has.